Hello, what is going on guys? I am Gnome Nexus bringing you guys back some more My Hero Academia, which actually the video that I'm actually recording right now, this review is the final review that you'll be seeing of me for My Hero, at least the anime aspect. Um, I'm going to start reviewing the manga. I read the manga. I've always been caught up to date with the manga. I've been caught up to date with the manga for the past three years. I've been introduced to the series for the past three years. Uh, I'm not like one of the new bloomers to it. I've known about the series for a long time. I feel like people that just read manga consistently know about it for a long time because it's been a pretty popular or decently popular, I'd say, manga for a long time. It wasn't anything like massive, but now since the anime is blown up into proportion, it's now the manga itself is also blowing up since what's happened the manga. Godlike, Overhaul, Mirio, Deku's Pop, dog. I cannot wait to bring you guys manga reviews. I cannot wait, but. If you guys are enjoying to like, subscribe, then make sure to support the video, guys. Um, we're just going to sit here and talk about some My Hero. Um, how a lot of people actually told me about this, and I just spoke to people that also, because I have some friends, and I like to get some anime-only, you know, perspective sometimes, but, man, they should just not give their two cents. <laughs> it, it, it's weird, because they said that this episode was trash, and I was like, huh? This episode had character... Build up. And he had character progression and development as well with Shigaraki Tomura. He was conflicted. He was angry. He did not want these new villains. He fuck all these new friends. And I was hyped to see the animated scene where uh, you see Warp Gate actually uses Warp Gates and they actually don't clash into each other at all. That manga scan, I still actually have the physical copy of this book. Man, that shit is raw, dude. That shit is raw. So to see that was cool as shit, dude. Uh, they go into the backstory of. Um, Himika, I oh, is that her name? Togata Himika, is, 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 is that, I don't want to butcher her name. Toga. Uh, Toga, it's, to, it's, it's Toga. Uh, it's Toga Himika, I did say it right, I did say it right. For some reason I said Togata, for some reason, I don't know why, dude. I think I'm getting fucked up with Muriel, I don't know why, dude. But essentially, guys, um, what I'm trying to say here is they actually talk a little bit of the backstories where this chick is a fucked up high school uh, student and she's murdered a lot of people. And they don't really say much about Dobby. Dobby is not even his real name. It's just a cover-up name. And when you think about it, yeah. I mean, there's no nigga out there called Dobby. So, I mean, yeah. It's pretty smart for Shigaraki to actually sit there. Though, Tomura is actually... It's a mixture of uh, two names, which I forget what. It was a mixture of two names, and that's how we got Tomura together. But, I mean, yeah, Shigaraki is actually a very smart boy. Um, I think he's around kind of the same... Adolescent age, I would assume, of the other two. Um, he's still kind of young. You can see a warp gate as she mentions, if I'm not mistaken. But overall, like they go into the bastard of those two, and Dobby is I, I, infinitely the most mysterious one out of the two. Like you know more about Himiko than you know about Dobby, because Dobby number one is not his real name. They were talking much of his backstory. Um, he's just getting fucked. He's you know he's just silent about the shit. And I think it's smart. He's keeping um, his eyes open. But he also said that he is literally the embodiment of Stain. And when I told you guys countless times again that Dobby does everything that Stain wants to do, and that when Stain himself, when, when, when Stain himself, you know, he accomplished all of these things and put his name out there, that motivated so many villains on the uprise. And this is how it went. After Stain being put into prison, he's not dead, by the way. So many people think he's dead. He's not dead. He's in prison. He's alive. He's not dead. But the thing about it is, is that Stain doing what he did and those videos of you on YouTube going viral about Stain made all these villains pop up. That's why these two mainly wanted to become these villains, number one, and join the League of Villains. Uh, especially for Dobby's case, that's why he wants to do all of his ideals and make this all become a reality because he literally could not agree more with Stain. He could not agree more with Stain. He 100% was with the motive for Stain. And I like that because I liked Stain. You could say that he definitely put a Stain on the mark for what he's doing here. But, I mean, I fucked with it. I like Stain. I like Dobby. I like Himika. She is a baddie. I also like Shigaraki. I like Warpgate. I like a lot of villains. I tend to like a lot more villains than heroes um, and good guys. But really, in my heroes, kind of oddly enough, a pretty good balance of the two. 
<clears throat> just you guys haven't seen overhaul yet overhaul's raw as shit muscular's raw as shit there is actually a poster out there of all of the villains there's like a manga skin colored of all the villains uh, and you see all of them man. that shit was pretty cool i'm not gonna lie that shit was pretty cool but Essentially, what I'm trying to say here is those are the villains. Um, Shigaraki is going through some type of confliction. He got mad that everybody's talking about Stain. But he's the one that scooped up Stain. Um, he's the one that, I guess, kind of also helped out Stain with the... Because Stain likes to fight in close quarters. And it made him so much easier to fight in close quarters. When everything outside of the close quarters was nothing but action and chaos going on. So nobody was focused on the close quarters. They're only focused on the outside of the quarters. So he also kind of assisted Stain in a way. And he just feels mad because he is the one that did something big first in his vision with invading UA on that stadium where they, uh, in season one at the end. So he was just getting really mad because he's like, I want this. I can do this better than him. I'm better than him. Why does everybody talk about him? Why does everybody care about him? And he wanted to talk to Deku about it since Deku is a smart man. This should tell you guys a lot that Deku's a smart man. And even he wants to talk to Deku about this shit. Even he wanted to do it man even he wanted to do it so that was big um and then Deku just really told him like he had no conviction dog like Stain did it for a cause you had no cause you just wanted to fuck shit up pointlessly and I mean honestly that's what he wanted to do he said he wanted to do it for all my but then he lost his way he just wanted to fuck shit up just to fuck shit up and that's not going to get him anywhere because he kept doing that in order to bait out all might that's not going to get him anywhere I'm not going to get baited up and it's just billions of heroes out there so instead He's like, dude, you're right. I should just worry about fucking up all my... Thank you, Deku. And he was about to kill Deku right then and there. And then Ochako pulls up. She's like, yo, are you a friend? No, you're not a friend. And I was like, whoa, back up, buddy. Back up. Back up right now. Um, But he got away. His ideals have changed. You can even tell that All for One even sees the character development and change of uh, Shigaraki. Also, I mentioned both he wants Shigaraki to, you know... um succeed him and take his power which i know to you guys is pretty confusing but that's something that he wants to happen just wait guys give it time for the characters though for the characters though that actually um for the good guys section of the heroes here you can see that at the end of the day they're still kids and this was the probably the best way to show showcase it bako didn't want to fuck with them because bako hates being in crowds he's kind of like Hib hibari kyoya um, Todoroki wanted to go talk to his mother, go deal with his own personal life, and he did. Um, everybody else went to a shopping mall, just chilling around, being friends and stuff like that, being kids at the end of the day, being high school students. And I like, I liked it. It was a good, it was a good feel with it. It was a good feel. So for all people calling this episode trash, no, a lot happened, and I just feel like if it's not action scenes, like if it's not Tenya and Todoroki and Deku facing Stain, or it's not Deku versus Todoroki, or it's not Bako versus Todoroki, then the series is trash. And it's just like I don't get it. Like people not appreciate build up. You can't just call non-action episodes trash. Like no. <laughs> oh god. But that's really gonna be it though, guys. If you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe. Probably won't see a My Hero anime review until season three drops. But I'll be doing manga reviews, guys. So be on the lookout for that. This one this Thursday, probably not. Probably like Friday or Saturday. I don't know if this one coming out this Thursday. I don't know if it's a hiatus or delay or not. Not a hiatus or delay, but. We'll just have to see. Dragon Ball Super this weekend, though, guys. Hype. I'm excited. We should probably see Black Clover and Boruto tomorrow. I uh, just need to watch both of those episodes. And, yeah. So, if you guys enjoyed, just like, subscribe. We'll see you guys next time.